Welcome to our Thursday Bible class. Uh, our text comes from the epistle of 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. Well, obviously, when you hear about keeping commandments, we think the opposite. We think they are incredibly burdensome. They are the things we are not to do. So, what is John talking about here? I understand that we love God and we follow his commandments as best as we can and receive forgiveness when we don't, but what does he mean by they're not burdensome? So I thought, well, let's go to the book. And uh, a book that for most Lutherans you're very well aware of. It looks a little different from generation to generation. This is the one I grew up with, the uh, small catechism, and of course the Ten Commandments. So let's see how burdensome they are. The first commandment, uh, we should fear, love, and trust in God. Well, I don't think loving and trusting is burdensome. The second commandment, we are to call upon God in every trouble, pray and praise and give thanks. I don't think that's real burdensome either, especially uh, calling on God when we have problems. How about the third commandment? We are to hold worship sacred and gladly hear and learn it. Gladly is a good word there. I don't know if it's burdensome, is it? Is what is uh, one hour of your week really? Or with travel time, let's just say two hours total. Is that really a burden? How about the fourth commandment? Uh, with your parents. We are to serve and obey, love and cherish them. Is love and cherish? Um, burdensome. The uh, fifth commandment. Support and help everyone in their physical needs. Oh, that sounds like a nice thing to do. Sixth commandment. Um, honor your spouse. Seventh commandment. Protect your neighbor's possessions just as you protect your own. Hmm. I think that's fine. It's not yours anyways. Eighth commandment. This is my favorite. Speak well of others. Explain everything in the kindest of way. Oh, would the world be better if we all learned to speak, uh, explain everything in the kindest of ways of the other people in our life. The people that you disagree with, the people that you think are completely wrong, the people you do not like. Could you imagine the world where you actually thought and acted and explained everything they did in the kindest of ways? I work very hard at that one, and I'm going to tell you, it's neither a burden. It's not, a, it's not only not a burden, it is an excellent way to live, and you will find much happiness if you embrace it. Well, let's see. How about the Ninth Commandment? Um, uh, uh, but help and serve your neighbor in keeping his stuff. And then the Tenth Commandment, um, urge... They're your neighbor, staff, and employees, and wife, and people to to uh, stay with that family and to work with that family. Uh, obviously, I'm picking the second half of the meanings of the Ten Commandments, uh, but they aren't burdens. They really aren't. They are something that is wonderful. Uh, and so if you don't like the idea of God telling you don't do this, in the Ten Commandments, Luther's response is what you shouldn't do, and we could go through those two. But he also talks about what you are to do, how you are to live. And a lot of that is to really show your love in the community around you. Show your love to your parents, to your spouse, to your children, to your neighbors uh, in every way. And you will find that when you show love to people around you, that your life becomes better, less burdensome. That doesn't mean you won't have burdens, but the Ten Commandments will feel a lot different. I've always wondered if we could work better at seeing that the Ten Commandments are a healthy way to live our life, too. Uh, if we had some sort of New Age guru, they would make the commandments, uh, you know, um, well, I, I think they would try to make it in a way that's self-centered. But Christ and God, he gives the Ten Commandments to teach you to not be self-centered, to love others. And you will find that there is a very light burden indeed in loving others, even the people you don't like. So 
I hope you uh, see that your faith does not burden you, but gives you the joy to love, to forgive, and to help. Let us pray. Dear Lord, help us to live as your children. Help us to love our neighbors as ourselves. Protect us and keep us safe from the pandemic. In Jesus' name, amen.